Hey guys, so today we are going to open some packs as well as play some magic duels. Hopefully we can get a game going. It is kind of late at night, so I'm not positive if we can actually grab a game. But at the very least, we will open packs. Let's go ahead and play Red Black. Red Black is a pretty cool deck. I do like Magic Duels. It is pretty good. Like I like it because the graphics are much more appealing to me than something like Magic Online, which the graphics are, especially if you're streaming it, they are uh, very horrendous. Um, horrendous would be you know, a nice way to say it. But yeah, if we can't get a game going, we will just open packs and see what we get. 1,200 gold coins will get us about um, close to 8 packs, I believe. So that's pretty good. Uh, 8 packs is definitely... And yes, we're not going to be able to find... Uh, what I've noticed is once you get past level 10, it's a lot harder to find games. I don't know why that is or... I don't know. It's kind of strange to me, but yeah. So let's go ahead and just open packs. I guess that's what we're gonna do. They're gonna buy. We're gonna buy Battle for Zendikar. We're gonna buy eight of them, and hopefully we pull something good. We already pulled Gideon, so I don't know what else we can pull. Maybe Kiara, but I don't have a deck for Kiara. Might be fun to make a new deck for her though. Pretty. So cool, actually. Yeah, one of the biggest pet peeves I have is that the Battle for Zendikar lands, they are actually, you have to open them. So there's five of them, and they take the slot of t 10, 10 rares. So 10 packs just for land, which I've always been a little, I don't know, suspect that you have to pay that much money for land. Land is not. Also, our second myth mythic, Oblivion. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, when you have you cast the target exile, yeah, this one's actually very good. You can probably put it in any deck. It's just a five eight body, and the fact that player uh, you may put any number of lands that player. So it's it's not bad. It doesn't have to work in the exile deck. So that's pretty good actually. Not a bad pull, and oh, <laughs> double mythics, a chroma fire bard. That does have a home. The spell is also pretty premier counter spell. So that was a very good. These packs have been very good lately. Um, the pack before this was Gideon. Barrage Tyrant. Let's take a look at this guy. Uh, sacrifice another colorless creature. It deals. I mean, it's pretty good. It's got a pretty good attack size on it. So why not? Yeah, so the Adrazi definitely could make a deck around that. Maybe I, I don't know. It does give you more options to make decks. I guess it's fine. I don't know if um, O for the Gatewatch will also be added to this set. Possibly. Drawn of Hope. It's kind of expensive. But again, it's you're just playing limited. So Drown of Hope and Limited is very good. I don't know if it's, you know, I pack one, pick one. Oh, of course, Prism Array. I do like the fact that if you open, like, all the boost packs, you can't open, like, duplicates. And then Sire of Stagnation. So not bad. Triple Mythics in eight packs. And I guess that's it for this video. Bye, guys.